what kind of deposits are acceptable when you're buying a house? So if you're buying a house, then there's, every lender is different. So you can have a gifted deposit. Uh, the best one is saving deposit actually. So let's talk about saving first. So saving deposit is that you've been working and you've got wages in your bank account and you got paid. Okay, so you saved some of it and rest of it you used. The second one is gifted deposits. So every lender is different. So some lenders allow you to get only brother, sister, siblings, you know, and mom and dad, parents, or some allow cousins deposit, uh, deposit as well. Some allow a cousin or friend as well, but you have to sign a piece of paper to say that you have no connection to the property. You need a passport and I need their one month bank statement as well. The second one is if you already own a property, we remortgage that to take out money to buy another house. So that's called equity. So gifted, so either somebody else is doing this, so that's a gifted equity. If you're doing it from your own property, then it's your own money. So that's fine. Some allow personal loan as well, but I don't personally don't like it. So it's not great. Um, it depends on the income, but some lenders allow personal loan as well, but we use it as your affordability check as well. So make sure to share it with your friends and family. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you haven't liked the channel, make sure to share it in your Facebook, friends, WhatsApp, status, everywhere.